Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Formosa Fantasy. And today, you know, I'm bringing you another video. This time it's a makeup video. It's spring, so we're going to be doing an easy spring makeup tutorial today, okay? Hey, oh, it's your girl. It's time for another video, for another video, for another video. Like, comment, share, sub for other videos. Uh, So we're going to be doing a full face today. So let's start with the brow. So I'm using my Amuse Cosmetics Brow Pencil in light brown. And we're going to be doing our brows. So I, it's a dual. One side is the pencil and the other side is the spoolie. So I use the spoolie to brush my brows out. And now I'm just creating the outline of the shape that I would like. So I did the bottom and now I'm doing the top. Okay. Um, this pencil is very creamy. So... When you're doing it, just have a light hand, all right? So I'm just doing some fill-in. So now I'm going in with a darker brown pencil. I don't even remember the name of this one. And I'm just filling in the sparse areas because that pencil was really light. All right, so now I'm just brushing it out with a spoolie. And I'm just gonna speed up this side because it's. I'm just repeating what I did from the other side all right so let's just speed this up so we can go on to concealing if you need a dedicated brow tutorial i have one there and i will try and see if i can link it in my description box as well and remember brows are sisters not twins now it's time to clean up yeah so i'm using the fit me it's this is a foundation actually in 220 it's a matte um, foundation and I'm just using it to clean up my brows so be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to mess up what you did even though you can go back in with your pencil but yeah um, I'm using this foundation today because I have it and it's too light for me so why not use it all right ain't wasting nothing so I'm just buffing everything out. All right. So now I'm taking my clean slate primer from AOA Studios. And I am just priming my entire face. And when I tell you this smells good, it smells so good. All right. So I'm just using my primer my face and my fingers. So now I'm taking another um, blur primer. And I'm just putting this in my T-zone area. So... That's where my pores are enlarged, are larger, all right? And I sweat the most, okay? So now I'm taking my concealer in buff, and I am be I will be putting this on the high points of my face, which is my T-zone area as well. So now you're going to be seeing how I do my foundation now, okay? So I'm just putting the concealer in the areas that I normally want to bring forward, which is my cheekbones, forehead, my chin, and then I'm leaving the bridge of my nose for last. I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I went and did that. So I'm going to be using a buffing brush to buff out my forehead and my chin because why not? <laughs> Then I'm going to be taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going to be um, blending out under my eyes. All right. And just take your time when doing this. Um, I let the product sit for a little bit. That's why I went to do my forehead and my chin because we don't want the product to move really. We just want the product to sit right where we placed it. But we want it to blend out seamlessly okay so um whatever excess that is left i just go over my eyelids with that because we won't be using any shadow today no we won't no we won't so i'm just canceling out any discoloration on my lids all right so whatever that's left on my damp beauty sponge that's what i'm putting on my nose 
okay so now i'm sorry for not showing it i am using my la colors foundation in 360 i think oh lord i forgot um so yeah i'm just putting it um everywhere that i did not put that concealer well i'm not gonna be putting it on my forehead <laughs> so yeah and then i'm buffing it out with my beauty blender because you want a seamless blend you know no line of demarcation or anything so now i'm just making sure that there's no creasing under my eyes because we're going to be using that same damp beauty blender and we're going to be going um to set our highlighted portion with that laura mercier powder all right um setting your face with a damp beauty sponge is phenomenal okay when i found this out like i was like you know what i ain't going back <laughs> but i still use the brush from time to time and i'm using that said powder to um set my brow bone area with a brush now i'm taking my santi shine sunshine collection a matte powder and i'm just putting this everywhere that i place my foundation okay and i'm also going to be using this same powder to uh, um, to contour my nose and to put on my forehead area because your girl brain brought the wig down too far because I was in a rush and you're gonna be seeing me glancing from time to time to the left side I was watching a movie listen when I'm doing these stuff I gotta be watching a movie or something cuz I'm gonna be like hey I can't be bothered <laughs> but yeah so now i'm gonna be taking another fit me product which is a um, compact powder in 360 and i'm gonna be bronzing my face contouring my face yes so this is warm so i use this for bronzing i have a bronzing powder but i just felt like doing it like this okay so i'm just doing my cheekbones the hollows of my cheek and then i'm going to be placing it on my forehead a little bit and then i'm going to be putting it on my jawline later on in the video okay so now i'm taking the another one which is a 375 which is cool tone and it's darker and i'm going to be um darkening up my bronzer yeah i'm gonna be saying that my bronzer okay so that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm go I use a smaller brush because I wanted to do like the hollows like right down in it to give it some depth, okay? So that's what I do. So now it is time for blush. I'm taking my Juvia's Place and I'm taking those two colors, the orange and the pink, and I'm mixing them together and I'm creating my blusher. Yes, I like using eyeshadows as my blusher um i do not have a blush palette i only have one blush and it's from aoe studios and i'm always using it it's not new to my channel okay so now i'm taking my bluest key um paint this is a pastel one and i'm taking the green and the blue mixing them together and i'm just creating a nice graphic liner it's like a floating liner okay that's what i'm doing right here I'm using a very deep, very fine detailing brush to do this. Um, please make sure you have a steady hand, like your hand is resting on something, because trust me. And then I thicken it off camera and clean it up because your girl needed to get up close and personal with that mirror. Okay, so I'm just taking um, some rhinestone and some flower. Okay, and I'm just creating some... I'm just putting them in random places. You see me dancing. I'm like trying to figure out like what I want to do. <laughs> okay. Um, th these are actually nail art um, stuff. But listen, I want to use it for my eyes. I use it for my eyes. I mean, get creative. Use whatever you want. Come on. As my mom would say, use your hand on fashion. <laughs> Caribbean moms, yo, Caribbean moms. So I never wanted it to be placed right there. So I'm just shifting it over a little bit and I'm placing it back down. All right. So that's what I did. So I put that right there. So now I'm taking paint and from image and I am using the yellow and I'm lining my waterline. 
yes so now i'm going to be buffing it out and i'm going to be taking my plain makeup by yolando and i'm using pasa pasa to go underneath that which would be my lower lash line and i'm putting that yellow there and then i'm also going to be setting where i put the paint because i was too impatient to wait until it dry and then my eyes were kind of running water okay yes i gotta blink a few times because you know when that does hit your eye yeah okay so i'm just doing it to the other eye and then i'm going to be putting some mascara on my lower lash line because i already applied my falsies off camera before all right yep so that's what i'm doing right now this um mascara is from clean cosmetics yeah it looks like that one okay so now i'm just using my setting spray from shop miss a and i am further blending it into my skin okay buffing it into my skin now this is a pencil from shop miss a i did a review on it um you can go and check that out and i am just using that to put on my lips and i'm going to be outlining my lips with that same dark brown pencil that i use on my brows yes the same one okay now i'm taking a lip gloss i tried one i like to try the other one didn't like it so i went back to the first one all right so this is the end of the video this is the easy spring makeup tutorial with rhinestones and flowers yes so tell me how you liked it like come on show that thumbs up some love that like button hit that subscribe one hit that post notification bell and share because sharing is caring thanks again so much for watching follow me on all my socials and until next time bye beauties